so struggling with energy and anger today. Not really anger, just like sometimes I'm like this kind of tired where it's like I'm on edge and I don't always know why. Um, lady is cool as hell. She just sits in her car and, and reads a book and smokes. I don't know. <laughs> like in the shade. I don't know. Whatever, man. Um, it just hit me like at all. I don't know. One of those type moments where it's like just something kind of comes together and it's like love is putting up with people's BS. It's like, it's, it's like this funny thing where it's like, it's not a lot. It's not putting up with everything. It's not, it's knowing your, knowing what you need and your own needs and what you can tolerate so that you can express that and compromise with people, with the people around you, you know, and make sacrifices and stuff because it's always going to be this mix of like needing to serve and um, be of service, but also needing to serve my needing, needing myself, needing time. And that's one of the things that's so hard as a parent and especially as a single parent, because you, it's easy. It's, it's sometimes it's like, you can't even help the fact that you lose yourself in it because it's like your, your kids need, if, if you love them, it's like their needs. That, and even if you don't, if you don't love them, like kids will still, I, they, they'll just find way. They, they will always find a way to get their needs met because they, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, there's probably lots of reasons why, but they'll, you know, they'll get, their behavior will get crazier if their needs aren't being met and stuff like that. And sometimes it's a lot so like I don't know why it's funny because animals analogies are coming come to me like with horses because they're so stubborn but they're also like such giving creatures so it's like it's very it they're very um they're they're needy in a sense because um actually okay that's leaving me now they're not that needy but you do have to like feed them and stuff and um and they're stubborn sometimes riding them depending on your horse and so but it it develops this bond with you and the horse because you are asking so much of them but they're also like they also put up a fight so it's sort of like that fight for some reason for us is like gives us a reason to um to work to learn from each other and grow from each other there's that need for that that discord that um that disagreement but it's like the opposite of or not the opposite of that but then it's like with perfectionism and narcissism and stuff it's like you're just trying to make everyone fit the mold that you have or like the version of them that you have or like what suits your needs and not not both people so it's very exhaustive and it's the becomes the opposite of love because you're not actually willing to compromise you're just trying to manipulate and take from that person um so I'm like anyways I'm just in that sense right now like I see that now with like why I needed to have this kind of wild behavior I already kind of knew that with the dancing and the posting pictures and all these things but it's like there's that need for us it's not so I don't even think it's I don't think it's bad or toxic even I think it is if it just becomes like if we get addicted to anything or like it's it's yeah the it just becomes like an unhealthy attachment but um or habit however I guess you want to view it but it's like I don't have somebody in my life like taking any flack from me and I have to be this or you know I feel this need and this responsibility to be this role model and then also all the discipline that comes with like trying to be a better person and trying to follow the most high and all of these things, which is beautiful and discipline, like it does yield freedom. So it's not that, um, it's not bad. It's just that, that just hit me today that it's like, there's still these, like once in a while I'll get a little bit more time for myself or I'll be a little, I'll be on days that I'm more tired. It's always harder because I'm like, I need more time for me, but I don't always have it. And so it's like, that's why we do ha need to act out our behavior sometimes. And I, d I think that it's normal because, um, 
we're still animals. Like, it's so funny because, yeah, we're, we are these, I do believe we're these spiritual beings and stuff, but like, we can't just bypass all of our biology. Um, so I, I wanted to speak that just because it's like, I, I deal with that every day with not every single day and things are much different and, um, my kid is much more independent now, but, um, I think that's actually an act of love to put up with people's bullshit. Like it's, it's one of those, again, it's not, it's not just letting, it's like having boundaries so that you don't just let them run, run circles around you or min torture and manipulate you or, um, not treat you well, but also like loving them enough to put up with their, with, with their nonsense, you know? All right, I'm gonna stop there.